The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I know that we have been enjoying today's um, special day. Why? Today's Christmas day. That's, that's why. You know. And for those who understand the meaning of this day, that excitement, that joy, then becomes more meaningful. Amen. Because some just drink, eat, go to places because it's Christmas, but they really don't know the meaning of Christmas. And uh, there is nothing wrong in that. But once it is time to know, then let's know. So I'm bringing this message to you today to remind us again about lessons concerning the significance of Christmas. Oh yes, there must be joy and gladness and excitement about Christmas because that was what, that singular event changed the course of human history. The first advent of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to this world. Amen. Let's look at uh, the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, from verse 26 to 37. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind, What man of salutation this should be? Hmm. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Someone out there today has found favor with God. Amen. So he said, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and ever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So she was not just having an ordinary baby. She was not just having a child. She was to bring forth the Son of God, Emmanuel, God with us. Hmm. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. When Christmas took place, every impossibility became possible. Everything that men termed impossible became possible. Things that men never gave a chance of occurrence now began to occur. That rule, that principle is still with us up till now. The power that made that happen at the first Christmas is still available on earth today to make it happen for you out there. Last verse. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And I'm starting from the last verse. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. So the Christmas story revolves around the God of all possibilities. The God of all possibilities, you know, when it was time, the Bible tells us in the book of Galatians, in the fullness of time, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to come and redeem humanity. So the mission of Christ was a mission that was possible. Remember many years ago, there used to be a series on television called Mission Impossible. Christ's mission was possible. And the angel said, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. As long as you are standing with God and his word, standing on the grounds of faith, nothing shall be impossible unto you. First lesson about Christmas, love. The father loved us and he still loves us. John 3, 16 says, for God so loved his, the world that he gave his only begotten son unto us, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. It's a message about love. It's a message about redemption. It's a message about the salvation plan of God for humanity. God wants the best for you. And Christ came, light over darkness, life over death, healing over sickness. He came to change the course of our story and our destiny. Merry Christmas once again. Live with that revelation. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. 
Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, Abata GRA, for a life changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.